So we've got to make this shot count now. We just dropped down. You seen the gun, didn't he? He ran away. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered Left Behind DLC. So, in the last part we made our way into this room here where there's a generator, and that generator is connected to a, an electronically powered door that we need to access, and behind, beyond that door is a helicopter with medical supplies inside. But the problem is the generator has actually got no fuel inside, so we've got a canister in our hand you can see right there, and we're going to actually um, try and siphon some fuel from these trucks. But before we do actually try that, actually I was going to say we can try this this door, but it looks like that's powered by the generator as well, so we need to turn the generator on. So we're going to drop down into the water, and um, hopefully siphon these. Oh, fuck. Stalkers. We've actually got some stalkers coming towards us, and the stalkers are the type of infected that will, um, once, spotting, once they've spotted you, they'll hide. And try and obviously stalk you down. So we're gonna throw a brick at this one, knife it in the face. And I'll make a run for it. Because we've actually got no weapons here apart from these bricks that we're finding. If we can find a brick here, that'd be really handy. There's a brick right there. Okay, we're gonna grab this brick and actually climb on top of this. Jump on top of the trailer. Get this brick ready to throw if anyone follows us up. There's one here. Stab it in the face. Nice, we got, actually got a pistol bullet from that one. So we have to really make this shot count to give ourselves a, a bit of a, a chance to um, take these infected on. Oh my god, Ellie's aim is so um, wobbly. So we've got to make this shot count now. We've dropped down. You seen the gun, didn't he? He ran away. <laughs> okay, so I think we've got two infected left. There's one down in the water and there's that one that... Oh, I'm I really want to make this shot. And also, if we can see any more bricks anywhere, that would be really handy. If we can get one to stay still, we'll be able to take a good shot on one. So if this guy stops for a second, like if he stays there and keeps his head out, Oh, I'm, so, I'm nervous to take the shot because I've only got one shot to take, you know? It's weird, like, a gun is obviously, eat, you know, once you get the shot on them and they're dead. But the brick somehow feels like it's a safer, a safer shot on this guy. Nice, 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 nice. So, you've got to just get your balls up and take the shot there. Get your balls up, does that make sense? I don't even know what that means. So, let's drop down here now. Let's see if this one's got any ammo. He hasn't. Let's try and get on this platform. See if there's any bricks up here. Nice, we've got a brick. Okay, where's that infected? He's behind this truck. Here he comes. Throw a brick in his face. Do a little trick. Actually, that's what we got. Nice, we've got three more bullets. Whew. Is that it? Yeah, sounds like it. Okay. Find some gas. So we're doing okay now for ammo, we've got three shots, as long as we make them count there, but they'll come in handy. So let's check these vehicles for some gas. <sighs> Empty. But could, could do with finding another brick as well somewhere, or a bottle, just so we've got that for backup, in case we miss the shots. But what's this? I've just seen something pop up there. Oh, gas, of course. How are these all empty? They must, someone must have been through here. Maybe the military came through here. They must have. What have we got here? I got a candy bar. That's why I wasn't full on health. I haven't took any damage, have I? I don't know why I wasn't full on health. Maybe you even start the game not on full health. Strange. So there's another gas can here. We'll check this one out. Oh my god. I think you got one more truck left, and it's this one. Ah, jackpot. Right, how do you do this? Take the hose and... Just siphon it out, right? Here we go. Okay. Alright. 
to do it. Okay, so we've got some gas now. And we can turn on the um, generator and hopefully get ourselves that one step closer to actually getting some medical supplies for Joel. How nice is a brick in the corner over here. We're going to take this because it's going to come in handy. Um, yes, put us in. Come on. What the hell? It's in a back, pouring out. You're spilling the fuel. What are you doing, Ellie? What the? That was a glitch, wasn't it? Uh, let's turn this on. One more pull, we should get it. Let's hope this doesn't actually shit. Oh, nice. Don't touch electric water. That is so lucky. I was going to say, let's hope the generator doesn't actually cause any more clickers to come forward. Oh, that was so nice. I actually forgot about that from my first time playing, so that was much as a surprise to me as it was to you guys, probably. Well, this door's open. Alright, what's around this corner? Okay, nothing. So we've opened this door now. We're probably going to have to use this to get up the ladder now and then um, make our way across the top easy easy keep looking straight everything's gonna be fine not gonna fall into that water and fry to a crisp so we want to go back that way really to um, get towards that door that we needed to power up but because there's all water in between we obviously can't go that way now because we're gonna get Fried to a crisp, as Ellie would say. Is there anything on top of this roof? Doesn't look like there is. There's no point jumping down. Flashlight's running out. On actually, I think we do need to drop down. We'll just ju jump off the truck again, and we'll make our way across the um, the side. Now we're probably going to have to jump. Actually, wait there. We can open these now. There's lights on them. Let's hope there's no clickers inside. What have we got? So that generator is powered to this as well. We've got a um, stack of pallets with stuff on so on top of them here. You can use this. Ah, I remember what to use this for. So we're going to put this away. Just let go of it. Open this door now. And there's anything inside here. There's TVs. TVs. No use when there's nothing being broadcasted. Oh, look at that PC. Nice. So, I know what to do here, of course. So what we do here is we put this thing underneath here because we're wanting to jump up there. And we're going to make our way across from this side. And if we stand on top of that door without that being there, you see it moves. So it would have closed right there, but because that's stopping it, that allows us to um, get across. Yeah. Yeah, she agrees. See, she knows what I'm talking about. So we're going to go across this way now. We're, we're aiming for that door over there where we fought that clicker. That, um, excuse me, stalker. So we're just going to keep moving around. And we're going to drop down. Just into the back of this truck, really. Anyway, that's safe. Look at that. I love the way they, they die, these characters, these enemies. The way he's just hanging on the edge. Can you, can you nudge him off? Got to be careful I don't fall in myself. Never mind. Let's actually go through this door now instead. Be careful not to press the fire alarm instead there. <laughs> Don't want to cause too much attention. Yeah, I hear you. So we've got some more infected right there. We can't turn the flashlight on because the infected are not, are not affected by um, light. You can't see it. Kind of like... Um, I think of what they kind of like. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know any animals that don't care about light. Obviously, they can see some of them, but they're not affected by light. So we're going to go through this shop right here. And hopefully, there will be mostly clickers. That way, they won't spot us. As well, actually, the ones that aren't clickers, like the stalkers and the runners, they look like they're hunched over, so they shouldn't really... Be looking up to spot us unless we get super close, which I'm not aiming to do right here. So while that clicker's going a bit nuts over there, we'll just continue to um, go through 
go this way. You know, I'm not actually sure if hunters, the humans, do actually spot light. I just remember reading on a forum once that that was the case. Like, infect infected don't see it and humans do. But I've never tested it, so I'm not too sure. Okay, I think we need to actually get through that door that that um, infected is blocking. Can we craft anything? No. So we're going to have to take this guy out, it looks like. So what we'll do... I'm not sure if Ellie can stealth kill. I know she jumps on people's backs and stuff and stabs them up to death. But I'm not sure if she makes enough noise for enemies to de do detect her. We can also throw a brick, possibly, to distract that. Yeah, we're going to do that. That's, the that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get actually <laughs> make my way back this way. So we're going to actually go behind this counter. Throw a brick from behind the counter over to the other side. Then when the infected that's standing in front of the door runs over there to inspect it, we will um, jump over the counter. Okay, he didn't care for that. That's fucking annoying. So instead, I'm just going to do this instead. <coughs> Oh, I'm gonna go for this door. Make it, make it, make it! Oh my god, look at the, the, the click is right there. Holy shit. Shit, there's more infected coming. So push the button, push the button. And also get through the door, get through the door. Get through, get through, get through. Run, 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 run. Right, the helicopter's up here through this doorway. It should be to the road to the right, so we're going to run around quickly, as quick as possible, evading all these clickers. Jump on top of this. Oh fuck. Going to have to jump across now. We made it, nice. Shit. Oh, that's not a good outcome, is it? Nice. We got goods, we got stuff. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go. Are you ready? So let's see what Riley wants to show us. Totally. <laughs> Won't the soldiers spot them all being all lit up? Nah, the exterior lights don't work. How do you know? This firefly, Melanie, told me all about it. This looks fancy. Wanna try it? A merry-go-round. Does she even know what this is? Let's jump on. It's a weird change of pace going from fighting infected to just being a kid. <laughs> you ready for this? <laughs> what are we doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Riley, come here! <laughs> now you got this, go! <laughs> I used to love these as a kid. Heck, this is awesome! <laughs> I would just pester my dad to let me go on it. Like, oh please, oh please! They just... When you look at it, it's not much. You're just rolling around in a circle, but it's just a... get up here! Sit next to me! As a kid, the illusion of riding a horse. It just feels so cool. <laughs> Well, I loved it. So, there. Oh. I got something else. What is that? <coughs> what did the triangle say to the circle? <gasps> what is that? You're so pointless. Fuck you! You found another pun book? What did the cannibal get when he showed up to the party late? Um... A cold shoulder! <laughs> here, it's for you. So Ellie's little jokes were born right here. You know, you might just be my favorite person again. Just saying. I know my girl. Just saying. I love stupid jokes. Alright, you ready? 
All right. Let's tell some jokes. I heard two peanuts walked into a park. One was assaulted. Ah! Oh! <laughs> good one. Yeah, that's good. A boiled egg in the morning is really hard to beat. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That is funny. I like that. Uh I think what makes these jokes good is actually the innocence of Ellie and just... Because if you were an adult telling this at like a party, it would just be like, Oh god, here's the guy with the weird, creepy jokes. But this is actually quite entertaining and like, light-hearted. I'm reading a book on anti-gravity and it's impossible to put down. <laughs> nice! <laughs> yes, that was awesome. It's not that the guy didn't know how to juggle. He just didn't have the balls to do it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Uh, what have we got here? We're going to stop telling jokes now and actually progress and see what this is. Alright, I'm putting this away. Hey, thanks for getting me this. You're welcome. How does this work? You just follow the instructions, I think. Should I do it? No, you know what? You do it. So we'll start. And off we go. Choose a theme. Love, friends, cool. We gotta go for cool, haven't we? What's cool look like? How's that guy cool? Well, he's wearing shades, and he's a bunny. Touche. <laughs> exactly, that's the definition of cool. Staying with cool. Oh, okay, smile. Change pose. Let's do this pose. As an angel. <laughs> okay, something creepy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I quite like that pose, so I left it to it. Oh, oh, let's make an ugly face. Okay. Let's change. Puffer fish, puffer fish. Okay, let's make a silly face. Okay. Pig nose! That's the first time I've seen a pig nose in a video game. Oh, it's all done! Alright. Hey, there we are. <laughs> we look stupid. <laughs> you can retry and just awesome. check out the different poses. We're gonna stick with that, because it was... Just a bit of fun. What's a Facebook? Maybe it prints our faces in a book? Is that actually for me to put to Facebook? Let's press square, see what it does. Enter username. What should I write? Just type some stuff. Write your last name or something. Okay. And there. Ooh, a cherry. No internet connection. What does that mean? <laughs> What's internet? We can just print our pictures. <laughs> she doesn't know what internet is. That's crazy. Let's oh. print. Give us some pictures. Oh my god, I can't believe it's actually gonna work. <laughs> I know. Hit retry. <sighs> okay. <sighs> what? Oh, come on. Fuck you. Maybe if you hit it up here. Oh god. Uh-oh. Oh, what just happened? I think we broke it. <laughs> I think we did too. <sighs> so... so... You wanna keep exploring? Hell yeah. I hate that lady. Why does she have to sound like such a dick? I know, right? Here's how I do it. <clears throat> Attention. The 6 a.m. shift starts in 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, let me try, let me try. Citizens are required to carry their ID card at all times. Report all signs of infection to your nearest area administrator. Remember, inaction costs lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be better. We should go upstairs. See what's up over there. Hey, this escalator is working. Come here. So Riley showed us pretty much what she wants to show us, but we're going to carry on exploring and see what's up here. Whoa! Look at me! Whoa. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> I always feared that as a kid, going up escalators. I feel like my toes were going to get chewed off. I had to jump two steps early just to make sure. Oh, Raj's arcade. No fucking way! I told you. Alright, before we actually step in this arcade, that's all we've really got time for, so we're going to end it here and start the next part, checking out what's working in this arcade, if anything at all. Alright everyone, see you in the next part. Bye!